one because these I think are one of my favourite videos to watch probably and to film because I like watching them I like putting, filming them when I can I just love to see products that people have actually used I feel like sometimes people can talk about products they don't actually know what they're talking about as in they haven't properly tried them out so when I see empties videos I always click on them so I have collected a little box of empties this month um, well it's actually not this month, it's over the past while because you kind of just forget to keep things so these are things I did hang on to so I'll get straight into it first off is an Eau Jean Full Detox um, Rub Out Dry Cleansing Spray basically this is long winded word for a dry shampoo um, this is the mini size but this was like I think it was a tenner if I'm not mistaken I'm not sure of all the prices for everything but I'll leave all the information in the bottom bar for a small bottle this was expensive but I'd never tried Eau Jean before and it's a brand that people rave and rave and rave about. It is expensive. This um, dry shampoo is disgusting. I hated it. It smelled horrible. There's still a tiny bit left. It just smells like something chemically, like it smells like a cleaning agent but not fresh. Do you know what I mean? It's just yuck. I didn't, didn't feel like it soaked up much oil. It didn't give it any bounce. It just I don't feel like I've done anything, so I'm so, so let down by this. Especially considering people rave about Ojam, so maybe I just picked up a bad product, I don't know, but I really didn't like that. Okay, so next up I have a makeup product. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum. This, on the other hand, I really do like. I love almost everything about this. Um, the packaging, I love the packaging. It's like tall, slender, it's actually a plastic bottle. It looks like it's glass, but it's not plastic. It comes with the pump. The only thing about Bourjois Foundation is the shade range. They all tend to lie a bit yellow on me. I don't mind that too much because I feel like it um, distracts from my red undertone or my blue undertone. So it's not too bad, but it's kind of hard to get your proper match with Bourjois Foundations. This is the Healthy Mix Serum. So this is kind of ideal for people with who are prone to kind of oily skin. I have normal to combinations kind of skin, really I have normal skin but I kind of like to tend to hide um, shine in my skin and my nose. Um, it's a very good foundation, it's budget friendly, it's purse friendly. Um, coverage wise I would say medium, on the lighter side of medium. Overall I really do like this foundation, it's just kind of the colour doesn't hugely 100% suit me. Um, and the smell does smell nice. Some people don't like it smelling their foundation, but I do, so that's quite nice. Oh, sorry. Um, next is, okay, it's a Bioderma product. I actually have a bigger one of these as well, which I've done a review on, um, but obviously just kept this little bottle. This is the mini bottle, and it's so cute. This is like, yeah, 100 mils. These are perfect for traveling. Um, I've done a review on this already, so I won't talk about it too much, but um, <clears throat> I wasn't overly wowed. It does the job, but I just find you can get other products for cheaper who that do the job the exact same way and just as good um, but I can't knock it do you know I can't really knock it maybe the only thing I can knock is the price because there are cheaper ones that do the same thing but if you have sensitive skin I'd probably recommend this because I think no one really breaks out from bioderma so if you have sensitive skin I definitely do recommend that um, next is another makeup product oh yeah I've got ahead this this is the Soap and Glory Archery Pencil now this is like a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Anastasia Anastasia, Anastasia, it depends, everyone says it's different. Of Beverly Hills, the, the Brow Wiz. So this is the archery one, I'll show you up close there now. Okay, I'm not entirely sure if you can actually see or not, but that is the product there. And then on one end you have a little, um, a little spoolie. And then on the other end is the actual pencil product itself. Okay, so I don't know if that was in or out of focus, but whatever. So one end you have the actual eyebrow product, and the other end you, end you have a little spoolie. So you can, um, Brush out your brows first and then you go in with your liner. Mine is completely finished. I can't remember what shade I got. I'm not sure if it says the shade on it. Hot chocolate is the shade I got. Um, I think it's one of the darker shades. Really, really like this. It's really precise because the nib on the actual pencil is quite um, small so you can get quite defined. I love using eyebrow pencils. The only thing about this is that it didn't last very long. My ultimate go-to eyebrow product is the Rimmel um, Last and Perfect or Professional Last and Perfection? No. Do I have it here? I don't have it there. The Rimmel Professional Eyebrow Pencil anyway in 004 Dark Black Brown. Um, but that's the one you actually pair. So I feel like I get way more out of it, surprisingly. This didn't last me very long. So I did really, really like this, but it didn't last me very long. So I'm not sure if I will buy it again because I'm happy enough with my Rimmel one. Um, okay, next up is another makeup product. This is MAC Mineralize, Mineralize Skin Finish in... 
Mac Miller Light Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light. So it's the lightest shade they do, I think it's the lightest shade. And I completely finished it up, all gone. Um, that's just the like ceramic that's underneath. Really, really like this. I think this is in around 30, I think it is. It does sound like it's a lot for a product, but it's really, really nice. It gives that kind of airbrushed effect to your face. I really do like it. I don't use it for coverage. I kind of, again, use it just as a setting powder and to give that flawless finish. It does give a really flawless finish. Even though it is 30 or that's what you're paying for, you can notice the difference between this and other powders. Um, it's really finely milled, really, really soft. It doesn't go chalky. Really, really nice. I probably will purchase this again in the future. Um, next is a skincare product. This is the Trilogy Rose Pen Night Cream. Um, Trilogy are again kind of more of an expensive brand but it's because they have really amazing natural ingredients in here. Um, basically what it says in the back of it, revive, restore and rehydrate. Rose pink combines nourishing rosehip oil with super antioxidants to help protect the skin against visible signs of aging. Multivitamin goji berry extracts aids regeneration by mineral rich manuka honey. So loads of that kind of natural kind of things. Um, really like this, loved it as a night cream. The smell it's like, a, do you know the smell that you get when you go to a spa full of all those essential oils? That's what it smells like. I kind of, <coughs> excuse me, I kind of turn my nose with that a bit because it's just a bit blah. I'm not hugely gone on that. Anytime my smell sm smells like that, it just reminds me of lavender and I don't like lavender. But it wasn't um, not nice to use. It was lovely on the skin. The actual product itself was really, really nice. Um, gave lots of hydration and my skin was left quite nice and soft the next morning. Pricing, I'm not sure. I got this on offer. They actually have offers a lot, but I'll leave details. One extra thing I do want to say about this Trilogy um, Night Cream is that I feel like it, my skin actually soaks it up. Sometimes when I put on a night cream, I feel like it just sits there and I wake up the next morning and I don't, I feel like it's still sitting on my skin. This actually soaks into my skin. I feel like my skin is using it as opposed to it just laying on my skin. So when I wake up the next morning, my skin isn't sticky. It's like kind of ready to put on makeup if I, do, if I wanted to. So I just wanted to let you know that, that um, it actually, I felt like my skin was actually using the goodness in this. Okay, next up is, okay, a lip product. Oh yeah, I really like this. I've completely forgotten what's in this box. This is from La Roche Posay and this is the Psychoplast Laveres Lip Balm. Really love this lip balm. This is the one, yeah, this is the one that's kind of minty. One thing about it, when I got to the end of it, there was, I felt like there was little bits in it. Like I didn't have it that long, so it's not that it was out of date, it's actually still not expired. But I feel like there's little bits and I wasn't sure if there's meant to be little bits in it or not. It's kind of a sweet mint flavour which I really really liked, very soft in the lips. I put this on at night time, it's not particularly nice to look at, it looks kind of just like a, a medicinal cream or something. But yeah, it's not crazy to look at but it's very nice on the lips. Gives them great moisture, I used to love this using this at night time because my... Um, edges of my lips kind of tend to crack in this kind of weather and I found this very good as a repairing um, night lip balm. Okay so next up is a skincare product and this stuff is expensive. This was actually sent to me um, ages ago. It was actually sent to me for a review of my blog but at the time my blog was um, down because I was taken over, hacked, whatever. So I never got to review this properly. Um, but they, basically these are just little capsules. What's this called? It's by Elizabeth, Elizabeth Arden. They're the Ceramide Gold Ultra Restorative Capsules. Basically, they're little intensive treatments. I can't... Oh, how do I open this? Where's the thing gone? Oh yeah, sorry. Basically, I kept one purposely to show you. So basically, you get... Is it 30 little capsules? I can't even remember how many is in this. 14 was in this, but I think this was kind of more of a sample for me to, tr to trial. So you get these little capsules. You break the little thing off and basically there's oil in here. Really, really... Um, it's not thick oil, it's very runny facial oil, it's like a serum almost. And you put it on, I put it on night time and it's meant to really restore your skin. I didn't like the smell of it, um, the texture was fine, it was an oil, it was an oil. It wasn't greasy, which was very good, it actually did again soak into my skin. It left my skin super, super soft, I can say that, it left my skin super soft. So I feel like it done a great job at hydrating it. But as far as I know, these are really expensive, so I'm not sure if I could actually afford to continue using these. So I've been looking for alternatives to these because I think it's out of my price range. Um, gold Ultra Restorative Capsules Intensive Treatment for Face and Throat. 
<laughs> so basically I just use it for my throat, my throat, my face, but rough bra on my throat and whatever was left in my hands I just kind of rubbed up my chest, my decolletage. Um, so yeah, I did like them but they're very pricey but for maybe more mature ladies who are actually spending good money on skincare rather than makeup, um, perhaps check these out. Definitely go to Elizabeth Arden counter and they'll be able to guide you further. Okay, next is a... This is years old. I have no idea why I still have this. I've actually stopped using it. It's the Boing um, Concealer by Benefit. I've had this for Yonkers. It's well out of date, but I don't know. I just kept it kind of as a memory because I got it when I was in New York. I actually still have product left, but I'm not going to use it because it's way out of date. Um, yeah, this is the Boing Concealer, Industrial Strength Concealer. It's in 01. Loved this when I had it. You have to be careful not to use too much of a heavy hand because it is very thick. Gives great um, coverage. Really, really like that. Okay, next is actually another concealer that I really loved as well. This is the MAC Select Cover Up. Again, I have this ages. I presume they still do it. I don't know. But again, I actually ended up having to stop using it because I knew it was kind of out of date. I got the colour in W20. I feel like I could should have gotten in W15, but I'm not sure if they sold that at the time. Really love this as a concealer, um, as an under eye concealer. I don't necessarily use concealer on spots and stuff, but I found both of these really nice as concealers for under the eyes. This one is more heavy duty. This one does have grey coverage, but it, because it's liquid, I feel that like it glided on more. You kind of have to warm this up a bit more, but I like both of these kind of equally. Okay, next up is a, another makeup product. This is, oh my god, I'm so annoyed about this. This is um, an eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Super Liner Black Liqueur. Um, I actually really liked this liner, but it ended up... Can you see it? Okay, so there is the actual product there. I actually really liked this and I was so annoyed with what happened because I'll see if I can actually show you there now. This is what happened. The nib just came out one day like this and I was super pissed. Okay, so yeah, I have no idea why that happened. I loved this eyeliner. I loved the nib in it. It was kind of, um, it's a felt tippy one, but it's kind of a bouncy felt tippy one. And you get the product from the packaging, which I love. I don't like the pen ones where you get the liquid from within the pen. But this happened just one day and I was like, what the fuck? Like, I don't remember, like, I can understand if I put it in bendy, but... Why, why would I do that? I have no idea how that happened. So I had to stop using it, but I really, really like it. Um, it leaves kind of a glossy finish. So if you're looking for a matte finish, obviously don't go for this. But it leaves like a black glossy finish. Really, really love that um, that eyeliner. And I'm gonna fly through the last three because they're kind of, they're all eye products. Okay, this is the Urban Decay um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion, just the mini one. Um, I like this primer, but I prefer Max Painterly Paint Pot. This is a, is a liquid um, primer. You can't really say too much about it. It does a very good job once it's on the lids. I just don't like the application of it, really. Um, the last two products are two eye creams. The first one is a Benefit. It's Potent Eye Cream. I really like this. I'm actually using another one at the moment as well. Um, it's quite... It's not too heavy. It's a cream, but it's not too heavy, which I really, really like. And it leaves my eyes hydrated. If my eyes tend to be sensitive, this isn't ideal. I feel like you can find better things for if you set very sensitive eyes. This one I love. Clarins um, Gel Eye Contour Gel. This is for puffiness and dark circles. I use it at night time. Really really love it. It's suitable to use at daytime as well because it's a gel. Um, I think this is in around 30 euro but I think it's well worth it if you do suffer from puffiness under the eyes. Um, it's really hydrating. It's really cooling when you put it on because it's a gel. It's actually a blue gel. Like, there's literally nothing left in it, I can't even show you. No, it's literally empty. Um, it's a blue kind of gel, it's really cooling, it's very nice to put in the fridge, it's so nice. So nice, so nice, so nice. So I kind of like these in different ways, but I definitely prefer this one. And that's it! Sorry, I was kind of, I was so rushing there because this, I know this video is longer than 10 minutes, so I wanted it to be kind of 10 minutes-ish. So those are all the products that I've used up within the past while. Let me know if you've tried any, if you do like them or if you don't like them. And that's it. Any questions, leave them below and I shall see you in my next one. Bye.